Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Okay, so this is the gold market. And uh, what I'm doing here is uh, Alexander Elder. Dr. Alexander Elder has a concept uh, he refers to as triple screen trading, although his is actually just two time frames um, simultaneously. And um, I got this idea today because the, um, the YouTube people told me that my other video was jerky and that they want me to put a smoothing um, uh, algorithm. They want me to put a, a software on it to fix my um, jig jiggly thing. So I thought... You know, that's probably the best way to look at these markets is really to always have in context the monthly. So any decision you make on this daily chart, uh, you're not going to, uh, you, you know, if you're a, um, a long-term trader with patience, you're going to say, well, you know, well, let me, I can scalp this thing for a couple moves, but why would I, why would I really want to get myself into something that later on is going to be the, um, you know, it's going to be a, uh, uh, you know it's gonna be a problem so on, I just want to do the RSI that just jumps out at me here on the monthly um, it's kind of bizarre I took all the levels off the RSI and treat it so I'm trying to treat it like um, I don't want to really give it a um, it's 0 to 100 so I don't want to give it any kind of uh, predetermined um, uh, value just let it go because it can go to 0 I mean if you see gold here it's 0 on RSI 3 of course right I mean I'm not using RSI 14 here but that's an interesting uh, uh, reversal there so this is where I'd be keying the major support on gold so for all the people that have the patience and I don't know if they'd be still alive when this thing could come back to the trend line but you know be it be that as it may for the people that um, are thinking like that so now where are we at on the monthly and uh, Golly G Willikers. This is a classic setup, huh? So now on the weekly, we've got a triangle. And um we're gonna it looks like we're about to break down through the triangle in the weekly. Possibility. But we have a triangle here. We also have a triangle in the dollar yen. If you look at the dollar yen, um now the uh, buyers of gold thinking they're getting a discount in here uh, between the 1400 and 1200 handle think that um, their 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 view of the market is um, well certainly for the bears are the bears are winning the game so far I think any degree of trend line any degree of moving average unless you're using a one period moving average is what I'm using here um, is just close but if you if you went to a five you know, maybe a five would be slightly turning up, but yeah, they're definitely going to punish the gold market here. This is the weekly, um, but uh, it is a triangle, so maybe there'll be a fake uh, um, a slice down into this. Try to take this out. Uh, well, this is the the, the twelve hundred, um, the killer twelve hundred price. That uh, you know, what a what a great uh, thing that was. Let's try to pick a. Good color there. I don't know. Olive. But, um, so that's a key deal. And it actually dipped below it on the candle. So you see that wick. This is a pretty cool scalp in here. Um, I typically write a script for that, that kind of move, but I haven't written any for gold. But that's a, that's a, uh, uh, that took, um, a one week reversal spike there. You know, and certainly I, I got, killed on this trade here because when it got to 1400 I thought god that is cheap and then it went all the way to here and knocked me out and then came back up and I'm certainly if I would have run candles on the monthly there I would have maybe been a little more careful um, <clears throat> but this way I don't have to change um, time frames and I won't get any, it won't get pulled over by the um, uh, YouTube uh, digital police that have been scanning for uh, it cracks me up the stuff. I had this Russian music on there that I thought, oh, there's no way. I mean, you can't even buy the CD in the States. I had to buy some import house. They actually said, oh, that's third party. Go figure. And then here's the daily. So uh, I guess this daily looks like it's pretty um, tradable. Um, even, I guess, if you're mildly patient. And then uh, this is already broken out of its uh, 
its triangle. This triangle is resolved in the dailies pretty quickly. Um, let me just go to line chart here and take out that spike. It just makes me jealous of all the scalpers. But it just gives me this beautiful bot, um, just on the on the timestamp, timestamp trading on the clock, and I guess you know your clock, you know, if you're, um, you know, I guess that's why I want to scalp because I mean it's not like can't take advantage of these all this all this beautiful uh, up and down up and down this here and and, and certainly RSI three is maybe pushing it for some people, but to me it's the most. Um, gives you more reversals, gives you more um, market. Um, I'm not going to go through all the signals on that, but I'll just take it a current signal and bore you to death with the. But I wanted to show you in the other videos what what I'm. If you if you don't, if you uh, you know, I, I don't know who I'm talking to. You know, there's some people uh, I'm sure look at the video and think I'm already doing that. Bye. But then, if you never saw RSI and how it's supposed to be used. Um, in how it gives you the major uh, pivots, then, you know, it's like, um, it, it's just, a, it, it really is the simplest thing it could possibly, I mean, when I saw it first presented, I said, that's just the most awesome. Uh, so here was your uh, big, beautiful, you were a genius trader, um, classic, come back up in here, just like um, uh, the, the, the trade that Dale did in the uh, live analysis room. And, um, so that I thought of him every time I see that now. So it's funny everybody's got their own uh, trading style, and uh, so here's the um, the trend line that uh, we're 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 uh, up against this. Um, to me, it's a big buying opportunity down in here at 1,200. I'll be a buyer again. I think for sure, totally, for sure, whatever. And I'd be like, okay, how can I get in there at the best price? Actually, did already buy. Unfortunately, couldn't resist RSI being totally squashed into the ground here, and that's why I didn't put any of these on RSI because, really, this bottom here, um, this you're, you're just like, you're a ten on RSI three uh, daily, and even though this buy here, uh, the, all the buys here were good. Even this one here with the slam back, it gave you the perfect reversal here. Now after you got this. This just underwater, just held the um, bears underwater. Is Alexander Alder has these uh, just uh, hilarious metaphors where he says they held the the bears' uh, heads underwater under the moving average. And so I kind of think that you know I'm not saying this is the only way to trade. I'm just saying that everybody's got a you know he has a really colorful. Uh, and uh, he also told me that he when he drives his car that the passengers. I used to drive like the way he. He was driving. He said the passengers think that it's a contest. Uh, they just tell them to slow down. But yeah, it's uh, really there. There would be your your genius entry there, and then you do the projection off of that. Um, take these two points here, find the uh, lowest close within there, and you're gonna you're gonna project off of that. So you're projecting to that price. You get there pretty decently. Then it comes back up, and uh, yeah. So we're just falling down the stairway. How far is gold gonna go? Well, it's it's not so much me. I couldn't forecast it, like how far it's going to go. I can forecast on this channel how far it's going to go, but really, when's it going to get there and how are you going to play it? How are you going to make any money off this move? Even if you say gold's going to 1100 um, okay, well, where do I get on the train, you know? And I'm buying here um, just a scalp, and then my next uh, entry is certainly going to be, um, you know, just keep projecting off into here. Don't just put pendings out there and... Uh, so we, we could end up coming down to this if we're going down to this stairway. But then at some point here on the stairway, there's going to be another step. I would say if you count these three cycles here, there should be one probably coming in about here. Of course, it's all estimation. But you're trying to get, you know, you don't have to place an order there. You don't have to be super aggressive. I'm buying a little bit now. Um, this bounce here was, a, <clears throat> this bounce here was a, was kind of like, that was hard to resist you know i mean really that was such a, a beautiful of course this is rsi3 you're probing down below on 11 you know i just decided to strip out all the um and just let it sit there it's like a naked indicator you know and then look for these insane um double uh, you know tops these these are all head and shoulders down here 
you know, head and shoulders people. I'm using range. I mean, I, this is RSI of three. You know, I, I could probably get get a more and more dialed in on that. I mean, that's that's nuts. That's a buy. I mean, I know that, but I'm I'm queuing it up with the other time frame. So if I wait for all RSI's to be down now, the monthly RSI is not down. So I'm gonna run out of tape on this thing. I'm gonna zoom out. Zoom out. Go. Oh, zoom out. Oh, wow, that's scary. But here's here's a classic. Give me for a second here. This just to show you the how the the RSI. Certainly here, I must say, look at that. That's when gold was a um, 700, and this max out here is when gold was at. Um, uh, but see, but see that see the uh, edge of the um, you can you can draw the cross breeze on here. See these all these tops. So this is like um, you know you put a fib channel already on this thing. But uh, this is extreme. <laughs> but you re you can really see the way that thing you know it gets up. The, the, what the one critical thing here that that is true, gold could plummet to eight hundred dollars a thousand an ounce. And the argument there in the long term is because these, this triple bottom here, once that's taken out, wow, the market break down through there. Breaks out of this triangle, comes back up, gets resistance at that triangle. Can you imagine? Okay, so it breaks down, and then, you know, it gets that channel, and then it comes up, and then it's the final assault to break this trend line. You know, that scenario is possible, but it's like, how do you write it down there? How do you make money off that? Okay, now, um, you you could have had a, um, you could have traded this. You could have, the, the only the only setup you could have done uh, last week would have been this uh, this trade here, you got a, a double top, you got divergence here. If you're a long term trader and you held through this whole move here, um, you know, each slice here is a month, so here's one month, two month. I mean, there's some really insanely killer uh trades in here, so um, I'd, I'd just be making the argument for try to find a place to get into this. Here's a here's a, a triangle that um collapsed into here and this is a good place to hang your hat off of because um that triangle serve as uh future support possibly now right in this window here is a killer scalp window um i'm gonna walk down just keep walking down this yeah how are we gonna get there you know but look at this rsi i mean that's just that's out of control down there i mean that's just come on really now this is the um in 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 the top bottom uh, theory applied to RSI, it's going to be these pivots, bam, bam, bam. This this little notch thing, these subtle little notch things are the most insane, killer. You just have to wait. This is a two, this is um two days. You had to wait for that thing to complete up into here, um, and come up into that stuff there. But now I'm just kind of like going to have to give it a little bit of a. a, a you know, let it give it a couple speculative. Uh, you know, if you think you're right, uh, Alexander Elder says, let the market prove you right. So put an order in there, down in here, in this little in this little nest here. You know, trying to you're trying to speculate. Well, where could this thing go? Um, you don't want to over speculate, and this is pretty damn cheap in here. You're you're on this this handle. You're on this. Pit, you're coming into this pivot window. I think it's going to be pretty bombastic in here. Certainly, right in here, it could be some serious, but. Um, it's going to take time on the daily. I mean, that's a daily, but I would go down that four-hour thing that I posted with the um, uh, four-hour arbitrage would be the next uh, level of, uh, unless you have MT5 and all this garbage, but I think you're actually better off having the, um, taking advantage of, um, you know, having your money spread all over the world because, uh, you know, when they start to come after everything, you know, I could, I could draw stuff out here all day, but I'm running out of time on this tape, but let me just do it uh, for all the candle people. I want to leave them out of the uh, out of the mix, right? Um, if I can zoom out of this in, in 30 seconds, I think I might have just crash that. I, I changed the uh, thing too hard. Oops. Yeah, I mean to me, it's it's it, you know it's definitely got a story in those candles. I'm sure of that, no doubt, right? the daily 